Hey guys, in this lecture, we'll create a new role called Web Server to install and configure Apache Web Server on the target machines. So let's get started. Now here on my lab VM, I've got my GCP console up. And if you'll see that I've got the, a new set of external IP addresses on my virtual machines. This is because between the previous recording and this one, I had restarted my virtual machines. Now, if that happens, anytime you restart or stop and start your public cloud virtual machines, you will be assigned a new set of external IP addresses. What you have to do is you have to go to your hosts.yaml file and update the IP addresses in that file. Now, with that done, let's create the new role. So I'll click on terminal inside Visual Studio Code and then new terminal to open up the terminal console. Here you can see I'm inside Documents, Ansible, and Elasticsearch. Do an ls. I've got my inventory directory here. So what I'll do is I'll create a new directory called Roles, and then I'll also create a new directory called Playbooks. As the name suggests, Roles directory will house all our roles, and Playbooks will house all our playbooks for this demo. Now I'll go inside Roles, so CD Roles. And I'll type in Ansible Galaxy in it and then the name of the role. So web server. Now Ansible Galaxy in it will create the necessary directory structure for this particular role web server. If I go inside web server and do an ls, you'll see that it has created some default directories. Now what we'll do is I'll expand roles from the left navigation bar and go to files and then click on new file and I'll call this file index.html this is the standard or sample index file that we will deploy on the target machines and we will keep this index file very simple so html and then we'll create body tag of body as well it's already done it for us so and then I'll create an h1 tag h1 and between these two I'll type in this is our sample web page and I'll just fix some space to give it a bit of a structure and then I'll save this now after this I'll go into my tasks directly and open up main.yaml this is our main yaml file now here let's start writing our tasks so I'll type in name The name will be install Apache. And we will use APT module to install Apache 2. So APT and then name of the module that we need to install is Apache 2. State will keep it at latest. And we need to update cache. Now the next task will be to deploy the new index.yaml file that we've just created. So name, deploy index.html and we'll use the copy module from Ansible for this. SRC index.html and destination would be var www slash html slash index dot html 
Now what this will do is it will pick up the index.html from under the files directory and deploy it inside where www html folder on the target machine. Now the third task will be to start the Apache service. So we'll call it starting Apache and we'll use the service module. So service name would be Apache 2 state would be started and enabled will be yes now this will start the apache service and also enable it which means if the machine is restarted the apache service will be started after the machine is up so now we can save this and we can run this so now let's create a new playbook to run this role so inside playbooks directory we'll create a new file we'll call it deploy web server.yaml now inside deploy web server we'll first give the name of the host file so hosts web server so this will be the name of this group and then we'll have to type in become yes and then rows dot dot slash rows slash web server three dashes to represent that this is a yaml file and then we'll do a comment this is playbook will deploy web server so save now let's go to the console and get to the elastic search level here Let's type in ansible playbook minus i inventory slash host.yaml for our inventory file and playbooks slash deploy web server.yaml for our web server file. So let's run it. Okay, it looks like there's a small problem here. Which is fine we can correct the syntax problem now just to note I'm not doing a tab here because tabs don't work in Ansible what I'm doing is I'm typing in spaces so save the file again and let's run it now the syntax is are correct if you're not saying that Unreachable changed false message failed to connect to host via SSH. Host identification has changed. So if you get this warning that says remote host identification has changed, that means that when GCP rotates the IP addresses, sometimes it will assign a virtual machine an IP address that was previously assigned to some other virtual machine. So for example, in my case, I think it switched the IP addresses between these two virtual machines. So what happens on Linux is if I go back to my IDE and open up a terminal as well I will show it here so if I go into my dot ssh folder and open up my known host file you'll see that it will store a hash of the remote hosts that it connects to now if that hash does not match the remote server hash it will Give you this warning so to fix this all you have to do is you need to remove the known host file and then once you've done that you can stop this and run it again it will ask you if you want to continue connecting to the host just type in yes and what i've seen is sometimes this takes a lot of time so if you 
you might need to stop it and rerun it. So now it's connecting to both hosts and it started to install the Apache server. Now it's deploying the index.html file and it started the Apache service now. So what we can do now is we can go to our GCP console and then click on the external IP URL and this will take us to the new to the index.html web page that we've just deployed. So as you can see this way we have created a new role for web server that deploys and configures Apache web server onto the target machines. With this we have come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next. If you like this video please subscribe to our YouTube channel.